Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Weekly Midnight Radio. I'm Adli, the host and the owner of Weekly Midnight Radio program. Through this program, you could learn more about various notable games in my opinion, and then also learn more about various streamer on Twitch. Pardon for no video for this part. Well, in this episode, the guest is part of a game developer from Canada. This means this is the first episode ever I invited a new guest outside of Twitch streamer, which also means from this point onward, the guest in this show is not exclusively Twitch streamer, but could be various people from all over the world. Yay! This podcast contains the full episode of the program, which aired live on Twitch every Saturday at 9 p.m. New episode of this podcast will be available every Monday at 8 a.m. Thank you for listening to this podcast, and if you enjoy the content, please consider donating to me to help me produce more great content in the future. Thank you so much. Once again, enjoy the podcast. Welcome to Weekly Midnight Radio episode 25. Selamat datang di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. Selamat malam, selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. Ya, selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. Kita baru saja mendengarkan satu lagu yakni Love Me Right dari EXO sebagai lagu pembuka kita pada malam hari ini. Welcome, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, ah, yeah, ya, welcome, welcome to everyone who have tuning in to another episode of Weekly Midnight Radio. This is episode 25 and we just listen to the first song which is Love Me Right by EXO as the opening song in this episode. Seperti biasa, jadi Weekly Mini Radio akan dibagi menjadi dua tema besar. Nanti ada recap game terlebih dahulu di segmen pertama, kira-kira 30-an menit mungkin ya. Sebelum nanti di segmen 2, 3, dan 4, nanti akan bincang-bincang dengan bintang tamu kita pada malam hari ini. Jadi malam hari ini bintang tamu kita ialah developer games dari Kanada. Sama B Games, jadi bukan streamer pada malam hari ini tapi developer game dari Kanada. So yeah, as usual, weekly Midnight Radio will be divided into two main theme. Basically, in the first segment, I will deliver the recap of game that I have played in this week, which probably going to last at least 30-ish minutes. And then in segment 2, 3, and 4, we are going to have some casual discussion or chit-chat with a uh, guest star. For tonight, the guest star is a developer, game developer from Canada, which is Samo BK. Jadi seperti biasa, nanti kalau misalnya ingin request lagu, silahkan gunakan channel poinnya via teks 99 channel poin saja, atau, eh bukan, kalau ingin request lagu, 199 channel poin saja. Kalau ingin bertanya, nanti silahkan gunakan teks saja, karena periodenya saat ini singkat, cuma 1 jam, jadi tidak menyediakan sesi untuk bertanya via audio. Jadi kalau untuk teks silahkan gunakan channel poinnya 99 channel poin saja. So if you wanted to request any song, as long as it's available on Spotify, feel free to use your channel point, 189 channel points only. And then if you wanted to ask any question later to our guest star, feel free to use your channel point too, which is 99 channel points only. Itu saja sepertinya. Sebelum menutup, tadi ada Rayleigh Hart dan ada Kuro PLYS. Selamat datang, selamat malam. Satu lagi, sebelum menutup, jika ketinggalan episode-episode kali ini, bisa menyimak lagi episode-episode sebelumnya via YouTube, via Spotify, via Noisy, Google Podcast, Apple Music, Amazon Music, atau platform-platform lainnya. So, if you miss any episode of this program, feel free to find our program via Google and you could find it available on every platform, basically. On YouTube, Google Music, Spotify, Noisy, Google Podcasts, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and other platform that is available on the internet. That's all, basically. Selamat datang, selamat malam sekali lagi, dan selamat mendengarkan episode kali ini. Semoga tidak ada gangguan. 
Oh, satu lagi sebelum menutup opening session. Karena bintang tamu kita malam hari ini hanya bisa kira-kira satu jam untuk bincang-bincang nantinya. Jadi malam ini mulainya lebih telat, yakni 9.45 dan nanti akan berlangsung hingga jam 12 kurang saja sepertinya. Jadi hanya berlangsung 2 jam 15 menit mungkin paling lama. So yeah, because our guest star tonight only have basically an hour to be uh, for their free time. So our session tonight will last it until 12 a.m. only, or basically for two and a half, you know, a quarter of an hour only. Karena bintang tamunya juga dari Kanada, jadi kemungkinan nanti sesinya akan secara garis besar menggunakan bahasa Inggris. Itu saja. Semoga tidak apa-apa. Semoga tetap nyaman. So yeah, that's all I guess. Should I redo, re-tell this information in English? Probably yes. Yeah, because our guest star is from outside of Indonesia and they speak in English. So we are going to use English mostly later on segment 2, 3, and 4. And because our guest star only have basically an hour free, an hour free time, so the session for tonight will last it for... Um, Two and a half hour only until basically 12 a.m. So yeah, that's all basically. I have no other information to say. But yeah, after this one, we are going to listen to two songs. First, there is Fact Check by NCT 127 and then Move by Taemin. Setelah ini kita akan mendengarkan dua lagu terlebih dahulu. Ada Fact Check dari NCT 127, lalu ada Move dari Taemin. Setelah itu kita akan masuk ke segmen pertama, yang ini recap game-game yang telah saya mainkan pada... Minggu ini Selamat mendengarkan episode kali ini Semoga tidak ada gangguan apa-apa Selamat malam dan selamat mendengarkan Welcome back to Weekly Media Radio episode 24. Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Media Radio episode ke-25. No, no, no. Welcome back to Weekly Media Radio episode 25. Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Media Radio episode ke-25. Kita baru saja mendengarkan dua lagu, tadi ada Fact Check dari NCT 127 dan ada Move dari Taemin. So yeah, we just listen to two songs, basically there is Fact Check by NCT 127 and then Move by Taemin. Now we are going to enter the first segment which is recap of game that I have played in this week. Oke, okay, kita masuk ke segmen pertama, yakni recap dari game-game yang telah saya mainkan pada minggu ini, yakni tanggal... Loh, salah. <laughs> Judulnya salah. Tanggal 6 sampai tanggal 11 November 2023. Aduh, lupa diganti. Mohon maaf ya. Hmm, ya, pada minggu ini, saya mainkan 39 judul sebenarnya. Tapi tidak sepenuhnya 39 judul, karena ada beberapa game yang telah di-download, dan sepertinya seharusnya... Oke okay, untuk dimainkan Tetapi ketika di run Di launch pada saat streaming OBS nya crash atau terlalu berat Sehingga tidak bisa dimainkan dengan baik Basically Di sesi Senin Ya Senin Selasa Saya mainkan beberapa judul Ada Planet Tiles, ada Arcade Sundown Ada Layla, ada Ublets Ada Fallen Force Ada Force Evers Fungeon Ada Adrenaline Rampage, ada Creature, ada 3 Minutes to Aid, ada Night of the Lions, dan ada Quack My Dark. Lalu di sesi Rabu Kamis, saya mainkan beberapa judul lagi. Ada Heroes and Redemption, ada Append, ada Kaiju Katastrophe, ada Retro Revengers, ada Screw Mage, ada Face the Fauna, ada Lovecraft Tales, ada Illuminaria, What the Hell, Garlic Builder, Elemental Survivor, 
lalu ada Poms and Codes, Turret Rampage, serta Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Kemudian di sesi Jumat Sabtu, saya mainkan beberapa judul lagi, yakni tadi malam, ada An Arcade Full of Cats, Rognarok, Fellowship, M-O-O-D-S, ada Windy Meadow, A Road Warden Cafe, no, A Road Warden Tale, sorry, lalu ada Sweet Dreams Alex, ada Gunlock, Outpath, Tree of Ashes, Out to a Moon, lalu ada Death Tapes, ada Doomsday Paradise, Noobs Want to Live, dan Soul Stalker. Sesungguhnya di sesi tadi malam itu banyak yang tidak terlalu menarik sejujurnya game-nya. Semisal Auto Amun ini crash dan terlalu berat jadi tidak bisa dimainkan dengan nyaman. Lalu ada Death Tapes ini tidak jalan basically tadi malam tidak terlalu kuat kayaknya laptop saya. Kemudian ada Doomsday Paradise yang basically benar-benar bikin OBS saya crash tadi malam sehingga VOD-nya terbagi menjadi tiga. Kita masuk ke tema pertama ya. Di tema pertama ada Bullet Hell. Uh, beriringan dengan event Bullet Hell yang basically berlangsung dari tanggal 6 hingga tanggal 20 uh, November ini. Jadi saya berkesempatan untuk memainkan beberapa game baik yang disponsori yang telah rilis kemudian bisa request key secara gratis jadi disponsori. Atau game-game yang belum rilis sehingga bisa mencoba demonya via Steam. Yang pertama adalah Critter. Critter ini gamenya sebenarnya lebih seru dimainkan dengan multiplayer sepertinya. Karena basically konsepnya ialah Anda harus mempertahankan dome atau uh, arena ini. Kemudian dengan Anda mempertahankan arena ini Anda juga harus uh, membasmi segala musuh atau hama yang datang ingin menghancurkan dome ini. Untuk sendiri sejujurnya tadi ketika saya mencobakan game ini menarik. Developernya sepertinya dua orang, jadi t- bukan solo, tapi dua orang dalam timnya. Kemudian kekurangannya hanya berat pada saat kembali ke dalam domnya. Jadi basically scene ini. It's okay. Later in the future. Ini scene ini ialah kembali ke dalam domnya, sedangkan scene ini ialah ketika anda sedang berada di luar dom. Di luar dom anda harus mempertahankan um, dom dari segala serangan yang dilancarkan oleh musuh. Beratnya hanya di dalam dom. Seharusnya saya menyampaikan kekurangan ini ke developernya. Mungkin nanti setelah program ini akan disampaikan. Karena sesungguhnya agak ragu ingin menyampaikannya kapan. Karena ada Perbedaan waktu kan antara saya dengan lokasi tempat tinggal developernya. Developernya di Prancis dan jarak antara kita itu min 6 jam. Kalau saya sampaikan di waktu yang kurang tepat mungkin sepertinya kurang sopan. Meskipun ya komunikasi secara digital. Jadi mungkin akan saya sampaikan nanti ke developernya saya langsung. Kita masuk ke game selanjutnya masih di tema yang sama. Ini game judulnya Append. Secara singkat konsepnya ialah Snake, game Snake yang ular yang populer dahulu kali dan saya, ra- saya yakin sudah banyak dikenal oleh banyak orang. Game ini basically mengkombinasikan konsep Snake di mana Anda harus mengumpulkan makanan sebanyak mungkin dan makanan itu nanti akan berubah menjadi ujung kereta ini, ujung tubuh Anda kereta ini. Di sisi lain Anda juga bisa menembak musuh Dan jika Anda menembak musuh, nantinya Anda bisa mengurangi jumlah kereta dari musuh, jumlah tubuh dari musuh. Seru, meskipun saat ini masih minim uh, opsi yang bisa digonta ganti atau diotak atik pada game ini. Tapi secara konsep bagus dan menjanjikan untuk masa depan. Selanjutnya, masih di tema yang sama. Ada game judulnya Fursi First Fungeon. Fursi First Fungeon ini... Hmm... apa ya genrenya lebih ke komedik dan bullet hellnya ini uh, side scroller dari samping jadi dari samping kemudian terus ke arah kanan memang konsepnya seperti itu komedik karena ada beberapa karakter dan penulisan apa sih narasi di dalam gamenya memang ditujukan memang sepertinya komedik dari penulisan kalimat-kalimat upgrade uh, yang ini 
juga dituliskan secara casual jadi memang tidak ditujukan untuk yang mencari game-game yang agak kaku penulisan bahasa Inggrisnya menarik karena jarang basically ada game yang side scroller side scroller seperti ini dalam genre bullet hell meskipun ada yang genre bullet hell yang dari kiri ke kanan dan kanan ke kiri kembali tapi kan ini genrenya anda harus berpindah dari kiri ke kanan dan kalau anda di sini ya langsung mati gitu atau berkurang poinnya kira-kira begitu seru saya cuma mainkan satu run tapi kalau tidak salah ada 30-an menit karena panjang sekali kita lanjut ke genre selanjutnya ada retro ada beberapa game kalau tidak salah hanya dua di sini yang pertama ada arcade sandal ini mengkombinasikan pinball ya kan pinball kalau tidak salah nama gamenya pinball dan pinball ini anda harus memegang bola ini ini ada bola anda harus memegang bola ini kemudian anda harus memasukkannya ke arena-arena tertentu untuk mencapai poin tertentu anda harus bisa melawan uh, lawan anda baik berupa AI di sini kan AI contohnya atau komputer atau mungkin dengan orang lain jika teman anda memiliki game serupa berupa jadi anda bisa mainkan mode multiplayer baru rilis kalau tidak salah jadi ini merupakan game yang disponsori oleh uh, Gmail kalau tidak salah aku platformnya kita lanjut ke tema selanjutnya yakni words um, ini judul gamenya ialah Pumps and Coats cocok bagi anda yang mungkin ingin ciling-ciling tapi juga masih menyelesaikan beberapa puzzle jika ingin ciling-ciling agak susah bagi mereka yang bahasa pertamanya bukan bahasa Inggris bagi mereka yang bahasa pertamanya bukan bahasa Inggris akan agak susah karena penulisan puisi di sini menggunakan puisi-puisi di zaman dahulu kala semacam Shakespeare dan segala penulis di Eropa sana menurut saya pribadi susah Tapi untuk anda yang ingin chilling dan ingin mencari game game puzzle berbasis kata-kata seperti ini mungkin akan ter- akan cocok. Sebelumnya juga ada game dengan tipe yang sama dan dikeluarkan oleh developer yang sama tapi saya lupa judulnya dan sama-sama seru juga. Kita lanjut ke tema selanjutnya yakni resource management. Di genre ini game pertama ialah garlic builder. Garlic Builder ini basically Anda akan menerima pesanan atau orderan dari seseorang dan dengan pesanan ini Anda harus membangun apa sih bangunan atau area-area tertentu jadi tinggal menyesuaikan antara blueprint atau sketsa yang ada kemudian nanti Anda harus membangun dengan kotak-kotak yang ada itu saja konsep puzzle-nya seru dan di demo ini sepertinya bisa tujuh hari tapi saya hanya mainkannya tiga hari saja karena saya rasa sudah cukup untuk memahami kira-kira konsep gamenya seperti apa kita lanjut masih di genre yang sama ada game yang imut sesungguhnya mau dibilang imut karena emang imut rasanya judulnya Oblets di game ini anda akan bercocok tanam monster-monster imut kemudian anda bisa menggunakan monster-monster imut ini untuk Uh, bertarung dengan monster lainnya atau basically mengkombinasikan antara genre Pokemon dengan bersocok tanam dengan beberapa cash-cash dengan beberapa uh, apa sih hal-hal yang bisa anda selesaikan dalam kurun waktu tertentu menarik karena imut dan saya merasa senang sejujurnya ketika mainkan game ini simple tapi tidak sesulit yang dibayangkan kita lanjut Ada genre first POV. Di genre first POV ini game pertama yang ingin saya kenalkan ialah Outpath. Outpath ini seperti game Roblox atau game Minecraft sepertinya karena menggunakan first POV. Tidak ada opsi untuk the POV kalau tidak salah. Dan di game ini Anda bisa mengumpulkan manajemen, eh resource seperti ini. Kemudian, eh, bukan. Ini di tahap ketika saya menggunakan resource yang ada untuk membangun Uh, objek-objek tertentu semisal ini kalau tidak salah ini saya ketemu dengan sapi dan dengan sapi ini saya bisa membunuh sapi tersebut sehingga saya bisa mendapatkan daging-daging tertentu kemudian nanti saya bisa gunakan dagingnya untuk bertahan hidup dan ekspansi area lagi 
Saya sejujurnya tidak tahu apakah game ini akan memiliki opsi untuk bermain bersama dengan teman-teman atau tidak. Kita lanjutkan. Di genre selanjutnya ada puzzle atau hidden object. Ada beberapa game kalau tidak salah di sini. Yang pertama ada Planet Tiles. Planet Tiles ini hmm, agak susah sebenarnya menurut saya pribadi. Karena Anda harus mengumpulkan poin. Dan dengan mengumpulkan poin Anda harus mencocokkan case yang tersedia di sebelah kiri ini. Eh kanan. Susah. Jika Anda bisa mengumpul, menyelesaikan case yang tersedia di sebelah kanan ini. Anda akan bisa men- mendapatkan potongan-potongan puzzle selanjutnya. Jika Anda tidak bisa maka Anda tidak bisa mendapatkan potongan puzzle selanjutnya. Tapi susah. Karena mengumpul, menyelesaikan case nya susah dan mengumpulkan puzzle nya susah. Saya mainkan game ini kira-kira 3 kali, 3 ronde. Tetap saya masukkan ke rekap kali ini karena rasanya menarik dan mungkin akan menarik lagi di masa depan kalau sudah ada penjelasan lebih lanjut atau penjelasan kenapa dan bagaimana cara menyelesaikan case-case tertentu. Jujurnya agak membingungkan dalam penyelesaian beberapa case, tapi mungkin karena masih demo, jadi mungkin masih bisa kita tunggu nanti di masa depan bagaimana ya perbaikannya. Kita lanjutkan, masih di genre yang sama, Hidden Objects, ada an arcade full of cats. Sebelumnya, developer yang selama telah banyak merilis game-game bertema kucing, dan mencari kucing di area-area tersembunyi. Dan ini adalah rilisan terbarunya, tapi belum dirilis kira-kira 4 hari lagi sepertinya rilis full versionnya. Sepertinya akan gratis, dan untuk di demo ada satu area saja. yang bisa dimainkan cukup menarik dan cocok untuk anda yang mungkin mencari game-game puzzle bertema hidden object serta mencari kucing dan gratis kita lanjutkan selanjutnya ada game berjudul Layla ini game masih demo saya sejujurnya pribadi terpukau dengan game ini karena cantik sekali yakin ini digambar dengan tangan hand drawn graphic karena memang apa ya di susunya itu antara layer per layer kemudian layer lagi kemudian layer lagi layer lagi jadi memanjakan mata kemudian puzzle-nya bisa dibilang unik dan belum pernah bertemu sepertinya di genre sebelumnya semisal ya di area ini saya diberi petunjuk perhatikan negative space ya Dengan menambah, memperhatikan negative space seperti ini yang berbentuk orang Kemudian um, ini yang berbentuk a bubble Bubble percakapan di komik Atau ini yang berbentuk bayi Kemudian ini yang berbentuk waktu Ini yang berbentuk kepala kalau tidak salah Kan hal-hal yang sebelumnya belum pernah ditemukan kira-kira di genre yang sama So menarik sekali Apalagi grafiknya digambar dengan tangan seperti ini Benar-benar hal yang memang saya punya soft spot ke game-game serupa Kita lanjutkan Masih di genre yang sama, Hidden Objects Ini Quack My Duck Masih demo dan baru ada satu area yang bisa dipelajari Yang eh, bisa dimainkan Di sini Anda hanya perlu mencari puluhan bebek Berwarna kuning dan berwarna coklat Itu saja konsepnya Demonya hanya kira-kira 10 menit Saya masukkan karena menarik Tidak neko-neko, tidak banyak babi ibu Simple Masih cocok untuk mereka yang sedang mencari game-game puzzle Dan chilling seperti ini Kira-kira Sama genre-nya dengan yang ar- an arcade full of cats tadi Kemudian game terakhir yang ingin saya rekomendasikan Ialah Sweet Dreams Alex hmm, Game ini sepertinya mahal Bagi mereka yang tinggal di belahan barat sana Soalnya salah satu viewer, a friend of Elvis, mengatakan game ini harganya 15 dolar. Dan saya mendapatkan game ini secara gratis dari Kim Mailer, kalau tidak salah. Jadi disponsori. Hmm, menarik konsepnya. Anda hanya perlu memindah, mengarahkan. Um, apa sih namanya? Setan atau mimpi buruk yang dilambangkan dengan setan seperti ini atau monster seperti ini. Ke arah Tuan Putri kita yang ada di sini. Tapi Anda harus memutar otak sedemikian rupa, karena kadang boxnya dibatasi jumlahnya. Hanya ada 40 box misalnya pada satu area, 
atau mungkin kurang atau mungkin tidak terbatas dan Anda harus bisa memperkirakan kira-kira bagaimana caranya Anda bisa mengarahkan mimpi buruk ke Tuan Putri Anda, ke karakter utama tanpa harus bisa mencapai Tuan Putri tersebut dalam waktu kurang dari 60 detik. Sudah, itu saja. Habis. Yay! Thank you for listening to my chat chat. Thank you for listening. Terima kasih telah mendengarkan cuap-cuap saya selama kira-kira 20-an menit. Terima kasih. Wih. Sudah selesai rekap game pada minggu ini. Kita akan masuk ke dua lagu selanjutnya. Sepertinya. Sebelum masuk ke segmen 2, 3, dan 4. Nanti bincang-bincang dengan minta tamu kita pada malam hari ini ya. Oke, okay. ya, yeah, that's all for uh, segment one, and we are going to listen to two songs after this one. Uh, there is Alter Ego by God the Beat, and then Peekaboo by Red Velvet, and then Damage Lady by Kara, and then we are going to continue with segment two, three, and four, which is discussion, or casual discussion, or chit chat with our guest star tonight, some of the games. Yeah, I guess it's all. Uh, enjoy the next three songs. Welcome back to Weekly Midnight Radio episode 25. Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. Kita baru saja mendengarkan tiga lagu. Tadi ada Alter Ego dari God The Beat. Lalu ada Pikabu dari Red Velvet. Kemudian ada Night Dancer dari Imase di request oleh Bazelard. So we just listen to three songs. Alter Ego by God The Beat. And then Pikabu by Red Velvet. And then Night Dancer by Imase requested by Bazelard. Now we are going to enter the segment 2 which is chit chat or casual discussion with our guest star for tonight special the game developer Samobi Games Okay she's here Hi 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 good morning Hello So yeah did you sleep well last night I did thank you <laughs> Uh, so are you awake like fully awake now no not at all i'm m- mid coffee <laughs> okay uh before i introduce you uh, to our guest star i guess we are going to watch a clip so not a clip because because for tonight the guest star is uh, a game developer so we are going to show you uh, show you guys a trailer for the latest game which is elemental survivor a second yeah Yeah, that was the trailer for Elemental Survivors. This is their latest game from Samobi Games. Right, B? Hi. Okay. So, a second, yeah. There we are. Oke, okay. 
Yeah, uh, there are a few comments in the chat room, but it's Indonesian. I'm going to translate this mm-hmm. to you. That was a cool trailer. Is the BGM, the background music, going to be the same as on the game later on? Do you want to answer this now or later? Sure, I can. Um, we uh, got some excellent music and uh, there are mini discs that you can unlock throughout the game that have the various music and that is one of the pieces I believe I if, it might not be in one of the discs currently but it will probably be yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so I actually got uh, what is this I got a sponsor by them to play to play their games a few months ago and I tried their game again this week and they actually have basically three main theme in the game which is the e-pop I believe the witch I actually forgot but there are basically three main theme on the game and they are also mm-hmm. have different tracks for each theme right mm-hmm Um, yeah, there's different um, mini discs, like there's EJ pop, there's E pop, and there's like cinematic. There's all sorts of um, categories that the music that we got, and um, there's maybe about 12 to 20 songs per mini disc, and we've got maybe 12 in there right now. Okay, do you? Uh, I don't know. Do you hire someone to make this music? No, we uh, purchased a uh, an excellent music pack, and we've been in communication with the uh, the composer and um, just getting updates and stuff, and l- letting him know the feedback, which has been very positive. So, yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, before we continue our discussion further, I'm going to uh, remind anyone who is watching and listening this program right now. If you wanted to ask any question, feel free to use your channel point. Just use 99 channel points only to ask any question to our guest star for tonight. But yeah, this uh, chit chat or casual discussion will will last it only until 11:30 p.m. in my time, which is basically 9:30 a.m. in this time. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, let's continue. I'm going to uh, enter the first, the second segment, which is introduction and sneak peek of our of our guest star. B, do you mind to I don't know introduce your game studio name and your nickname sure. and your yeah. your living area and pronoun and age if you don't mind. Yes, for sure. So um, I'm Toby. Um, sometimes I go by the name B or Evil B online, and um, I am she, her, and um, actually <laughs> turning 49 shortly. <laughs> and uh, I know, I know. <laughs> and um, our studio name is Samuel B Games, and that came about because, as you can see in the little avatar there. Um, we're big fans of Smoya dogs and um, B because I'm B. <laughs> I've always been a B, so yeah. And we're in um, northern BC, Canada, and it's starting to get pretty cold and starting to do the snow thing. So yeah. Oh, nice! Oh, it's starting to get cold. Mm-hmm. Also, oh, it was. To... Yeah. We had a bit of a cold snap a little while ago, like it was 20 degrees outside one day, and the next day it was minus 15. So that's Celsius, and uh, yeah, that that was pretty wild. But now it's about about freezing temp right now. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to continue then. Is there any meaning mm-hmm. behind some of the games aside from this Samo dog? Is it correct? Yeah, yeah, And also that's right. Your it's name just... B. Yeah, that's it. That's that's where the name came from. Um, we just wanted something cute, and because um, we kind of do cute games, so yeah. I do saw so your. There is a gift on your itch.io page, and I think it's uh, a dog, flying dog with some wings. Is that also yeah. the character? Yeah, that's right. That's our Samoyed with the bee wings. It's very cute. Um, yeah, that's actually. the intro in our other our previous game so yeah ah okay so another question from me is how many people behind the studio 
So it's me and uh, my wife, Charlene. Um, I am the programmer slash writer slash business person. Um, and my uh, wife, Charlene, is the artist and the game designer. Oh, so basically everything is already in-house. Yeah. It, we um, did have somebody um, make the music for our previous game and um, they're a wonderful person. And um, But otherwise... Yeah, it's just the two of us. Oh, I wanted to ask. <laughs> this is pretty funny, but your mic filter is gone, and it's not sound even clearer than That's before. Uh, it's being weird. Is that better? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Sorry. What did I did I miss everything that I was saying? No, 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 no. You're okay. 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 Should we continue? Yeah. Uh, do you mind to, I don't know, position your camera a little bit lower? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, let's That's continue. Better. Uh, I don't know that much about your studio, but I do know you have published a few other games aside from Elemental Survivor. So what games do you focus on developing? So the previous game was um, Princess Farmer, which is a match three visual novel game with um, really very queer um, themes. And it uh, it's very cute, it's very pink. And um, we like to really focus on accessibility or at least, you know, playability. And so there's three different modes in that game where you can play fast or you can play thinking or you can do a blend. And there's all sorts of accessibility options. And um, we've started off with elemental survivors thinking, you know, vampire survivors is so easy to like pick up and play. And we wanted um, something that was not quite as hard to start and get into. And again, something that was easy to play. Like a lot of the games in this genre are going towards dodging and manual aim and all that stuff and we do have manual aim but we also have auto aim so it's very playable i'm not good at playing games so i can play it and my wife is great at playing games and she can play it so we both have fun with it so that's kind of how we figure out the balance for our games is if i can play it and she can play it then then we're good ah <laughs> uh, uh, this is uh, no offense to all people but i believe because you talk about the accessibility you probably i don't know the main focus on developing games for you is probably to make a game that is accessible for people especially for everyone and also people who probably old enough so everyone can enjoy the game that's basically the main focus i guess yeah it's it's approachable you know and it can be played by like Princess Farmer can be played one-handed, like you don't even have to use anything else. And um, it, yeah, it, that was kind of our our goal, was just to make something that was really easily approachable. Okay, let's continue. Uh, mm -hmm. This is my next question. Since when and why do you guys decided to develop games? Oh, that's fun. Um, so... Uh, for my history, I actually, I had an Atari 520 ST when I was like 10 years old and I programmed my first game at age 11 and it was called The Adventures of Super Pickle. And I still have that Atari uh, upstairs, I just haven't plugged it in for a long time, but it still exists. And uh, I, I was really, really into games, but my parents wouldn't buy games so I would often just make games on pieces of paper or with a typewriter or something like that so I've always wanted to do it and then I just kind of let it go when I um, went to um, like when I was in high school and university I just it was just so heavily focused on guys it was so like um I just did not feel welcome in that space. Even though they were kind to me, it was condescending and it just, I did not feel welcome at all. So I gave it up. And 
years later, there's all these fantastic tools out there for making games. Like, um, like Unity is great, uh, was great, and um, I actually used Game Maker, and that helped me to get into it. And so I'm entirely self-taught. I've been doing this since 2016, I think. 2016, and, seven um, years ago. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And I still feel like a noob. So, <laughs> uh, but I have fun with it. I love it. It's, I, I can't imagine doing anything else. As long as you have fun, so, I guess. Exactly. And for my wife, she was very much into games, very much into comics. And um, back in uh, 2007, she actually was hired as one of the first uh, groups of artists at uh, Disney Club Penguin before it was even bought by Disney and so she's she was an artist there she was a, um, a team lead a producer and then a game designer and um, while she was there I was also hired and I was in um, uh, recruitment and administration so uh, we both worked at Disney which was a lot of fun we got to go to Disneyland a few times so anyways Fast forward, 2016, I'm learning Game Maker, and we just decided to start making games. And that's just what we want to do, and we've been doing it since. Oh, okay, 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 that's cool. That's pretty long, though, but as long as, long as you have fun, it's okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a question from viewer, uh, Trucks Time, asking a question. Did you have any interest to build game in Web3 or crypto NFT game? No. Any reason why? Several reasons why, and uh, it's not of interest to us at all. Mm, okay, that's probably answering the question from Trucks Time. And my last question in this segment What engine or mm -hmm. hardware do you use? You did mention a uh, game maker. Yeah. Is that the only engine you use for now to make the Elemental Survivor? Right, so I use um, Game Maker, which. I really do like, and it just makes sense to me, the objects with the events and the instances, like I just, it, it clicks for me. I have tried Unity and I, I can work in it, but I really prefer Game Maker, especially since we're doing 2D games anyways. Um, it's just, it, it clicks for me. And, uh, but there's so much more to learn. I really need to focus on some learning soon. And uh, my wife, she uses, I don't know how to pronounce it, Asaprite. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and I also, you know, use Google Excel spreadsheets to get data into the game. So, uh, the, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't see any other question from viewer. And <laughs> this is right on the estimated time. We are going to take a break for just a few minutes, I guess. We are going to listen to one song, Porapi Pam by Sonmi, and then we are going to continue with segment 3 after this one song. Jadi setelah ini kita akan mendengarkan satu lagu dulu ya, Porapi Pam dari Sonmi, Sonmi. Kemudian nanti kita akan lanjut ke segmen 3 sebelum akan bertanya-tanya nanti lebih lanjut lagi ke guest kita malam hari ini, B dari Sonmi Games. So yeah, enjoy the next song. Welcome back to Weekly Midnight Radio episode 25. Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. Kita baru saja mendengarkan satu lagu. Tadi break sebentar ada Porapi Pam dari Sonmi. Kemudian kita sekarang akan masuk ke segmen ketiga. So we just listen to a song. Porapi Pam by Sonmi is our break song basically. Before entering the segment 3 which is the current segment. Uh, an information... The developer just gave me a key to Elemental Survivor, so I'm going to set up some giveaway things after this one. What should I do, yeah? Yeah, yeah. later, uh, before segment 4, I'm going to set up some things. So if anyone wanted to join the giveaway, you could just uh, prepare your channel points and you could just enter and redeem the channel points I'm going to... I don't know, what is this? Pick a name so they will receive a key to elemental survivor 
That's all? Yeah, yeah, that's all. <laughs> okay, let's continue with segment 3, which is stories behind game development scene of our guest star. B, my first question is, do you leave any easter eggs in your games? Well, we use a ton of references. Every time we make a character in this game, I do a bunch of research into um, JRPGs from um, the past to name the characters. I also do that with the um, with the uh, attacks and names, and um, Charlene uses a lot of references. Like the whole thing is Nintendo Power magazine and. Uh, it's, it's using the Final Fantasy Blue, and it's um, there's uh, all sorts of um, <laughs> there's all sorts of uh, references that uh, we use for nostalgia, and we do have one super secret that nobody has um, found. In and. Uh, it's one of the characters, and um, uh, his name is uh, Gary Lou, the werewolf. And I put in a little secret that might happen during certain time of the moon. Huh? <laughs> Nobody's found it. <laughs> in the elemental survivor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to. Yeah, when's the next full moon? Maybe. Ah, uh, a hint. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to take some note. Uh, a second before I continue on with the next. Uh, what is this? With the next question from me to you. Uh, a reminder, an announcement for anyone if you wanted to join the giveaway. I haven't set it up properly yet, but just redeem the giveaway channel point and I will do the, ma- the what is this? The picking up things manually later in the end. <laughs> so yeah, that's all basically. I'm going to continue with the next question from me, B. Um, do you have... No, oh my god. Mm-hmm. I wrote this wrong. Do you have any habits before or during developing games? Oh, hang on. I can't hear you. Okay. There we go. Okay. Do you have um, any habits have... before or mm-hmm. develop during developing games? Um, like in my day. Uh, yeah, probably. Like okay. anything you probably prepare before. Oh, just coffee. <laughs> coffee lots of coffee um during the week i'm actually at the same time as working on the game i'm also doing homeschooling with our uh, 12 year old daughter so um my attention kind of goes between those two things and i'm not very good at dividing my attentions but i i do my best um there's uh, certain things that i will listen to one of the things This is quite silly. Um, that I listen to is um, a, a complete playthrough of the game Riven. <laughs> really? I don't know why. Yeah, it was such an important game for me um, when it came out, and it just there's so much. It just gives me feels, and it just makes me feel very safe, and um, I, I just love it. Sometimes I also listen to like binaural. Beats and um, sometimes I'll listen to my favorite music if I don't have to focus too hard because I like to sing along. So that's that's during. Sorry, that's during. <laughs> after I don't know. There's really no after. It's just kind of all day. I might work. <laughs> okay, like you basically developing everything in home, right? Yeah, okay. just on my laptop. Okay, let's continue to the next question from me. Do you have any tips and tricks for developing games? Mm. Um, so how I learned is I got some uh, class courses on Udemy 
and oh. um, and also some on YouTube as well. And um, at first, all I did was watch them, but that you know nothing was sinking in. So after I'd watched some, um, my wife told me, "You just got to do it." So. I, I started doing the things from those tutorials and it just slowly was clicking in how um, how to, how it was done. So that's something I really recommend both watching, but you also really do have to just do it. Um, one of the things that really taught me a lot was when I was making Princess Farmer and I was starting it off, I didn't, I hardly knew anything about um, game development at that point. And we weren't sure if we would be in Game Maker or Unity. So I watched a tutorial about um, a match three, but it was in Unity. And I started doing that in Game Maker, and it was just a really good learning experience trying to translate that code that was in Unity into Game Maker. And so, you know, that's still the bare bones of that game. And um, it, it taught me a lot. And it continued to teach me as, it, as the development kept going because I'd have to go back and make tweaks to it. And yeah, I just just do it. Okay. This basically how you basically survive all of this year because you basically self taught everything through Udemy, YouTube, and just yeah, yeah just do it. Mm -hmm. Time wouldn't wait. Yep. Yep. Okay. If you want to do it, just do it. Do it. Okay. Ah, next question from me. What is your most memorable moments after developing games all this time? Hmm. Um, so memorable moments, it's watching, um, streamers play the game and discovering all of the, the little things that we do to polish our games and, or the dialogue in Princess Farmer or the little hidden quotes in Princess Farmer, the dialogue in there. And, um, I just, I love watching streamers notice the things that we, we put all of our passion into because we are, we love doing this so, so, so much and watching people appreciate it is just, it's amazing. It's, it's the best feeling. And uh, the other thing is working with my wife. I adore her completely and it's a joy every day to talk with her constantly about what we're doing in the game and what our plans are. And um, like even just going through her tickets and doing the task, like I just, we're just so connected while we're working on this game together. It's, um, we have the same brain. <laughs> okay, that's nice to hear. Ah, there's a question from viewer, Trucks Time asking oh. a question. Do you have any plan to make your games multi-platform and multiplayer enable? So, um, Princess Farmer was on all platforms and it is um, couch co-op. Um, oh, this couch game, co though, Yeah, yeah, the, the previous one, the, the Princess Farmer, it's, it's, it's really cute. You can um, control a second bunny in, um, in the, during the gameplay. So, uh, for this game, though, we are not currently planning multi-platform but we're it's it's something that could happen in the future if there's enough interest um and multiplayer we do have i do have a task to look into co-op but it's um it really really depends um on uh if uh if there's enough interest, it's because it's a lot of work. So understood. It's probably it's going to yeah. <laughs> it's probably going to basically make another point of view, right? Like single mm -hmm. player is basically here, and then you basically have to connect the yeah. other main character. Yeah. Like basically making yeah. a one another whole, right? 
Yeah, it's um, I it would have to. I I don't know. I I, I need to try out some other games that do the co-op to figure out how they deal with that. If it's like all the same screen or split screen or whatever. So yeah. Okay. Let's continue with my next question. Any bittersweet moments of developing games, developing games? There must be a lot, I believe. Especially if you are indie, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's um, you know, numbers are sad <laughs> to to look at sometimes, and um, uh, just. You know, seeing a huge rush of interest um, during launch or whatever, and then it just kind of peters out, and that's that's kind of disappointing. And you just wish that it would catch people's eyes and um, interest. And um, what I'm really liking about um, Elemental survivors is that it kind of ebbs and flows with the with the interest, and um, people are playing the game for a very long time. I can see that stat in um, in Steam, and just I think our average is like five hours. And um, wow, five but, hours! Yeah, and some people have played over fifty hours. <gasps> um, so people are liking the game which i love i love seeing but um you know we just it, it, it's it's sad to to see numbers um sometimes so that's that's kind of the the difficult part of developing games understood understood it's basically also i also feel the same too regarding my content creation or stream mm. streaming mm-hmm. journey like it's basically mm-hmm. Everything is based on number, and we could see how low number probably mm-hmm. could, uh, I don't know, affect my mental health. Like mm-hmm. I could probably feel sad seeing the number, but at the same time, some people actually still stay through everything. So, kind of bittersweet. Yeah. But well, life happened. Thing happen. Just go on then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's continue. This is uh, no. This is my next question. Can you compare yourself or your game studio to three or six or twelve months ago? And I believe you basically yeah. have been pretty long in this area. Yeah. Um. The the biggest thing I think is just my knowledge and my um ability to um. And the, and my, the speed for for me to build games, I'm I'm getting better all the time. It is difficult being self-taught because um, I don't have a person to bounce like ideas off of or um, show my code to them and and ask like, hey, is this um, is this the right is this the best way to do it? So you know. I'm getting better, and um, that I think that's the biggest thing. And um, yeah, my wife has been great the whole time. So I don't. There's not really anything <laughs> to like. <laughs> yeah, um, we're we're growing as as uh, as much as we can. So yeah, yeah, that's the difference. Okay. At least, at least there's something. Even though you basically, yeah. Uh, yeah, as you said before, you don't have anyone to show your code. Like, hey, see this, please. If this is okay, is this good? Is this actually getting better over time? But then, yeah, at least you could see that you actually improve over over time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, my next question: Any achievement that your game studio or yourself have achieved? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Oh, uh, what kind of um, what kind of achievements? Like just any, like uh, anything you could think of. I think probably including yourself entering some events is probably also an achievement. Hmm. So, um, 
because I believe uh, entering an event like Bullet Heaven Fest, for instance, it requires so yeah. many form and so many preparation behind. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, yeah, we're in the Bullet Heaven Fest, and that um, that we had to submit to and get um, um, approved to be part of that, and. Um, Uh, we were, um, just before launch, we were covered by a big streamer, um, which was really cool for a wish list just before launch. Um, other than that, I think we may have had a um, news article, um, on a couple sites that, that was cool to see. Um. Yeah, I think I uh, we haven't really um, delved too deep into submitting to um, uh, competitions or anything like that yet. So <laughs> once we're out of early access, I think we'll be able to submit so- to some more things. Okay. Do you have any plan to? Like, I believe there is a section on Steam on the mm-hmm. right area where you can show off any achievement. Do you have any hmm. plan to enter some of these competition? Um, uh, it's not in our plans right now. Um, but, you know, our our uh, previous game was in a bunch of stuff like wholesome games, um, festival, and um, oof, in the mix, some other things like that. But uh, because we don't have a publisher this time, we just are have less opportunities to. Um, to showcase the game so yeah okay i have a question to be honest but this is out of our briefing question what is mm-hmm. i you publish your, your game by yourself and it's under some of games what if you publish the game under big publishing names is there any huge difference between it aside from funding i believe yeah there is a big difference um because our previous game was under um, Whitethorn Games. So they provide so much support in like um, QA testing, um, translations and um, getting into showcases and going to shows and displaying the game and, um, you know, deals with um, platforms and uh, getting onto platforms and porting. They do a, a bunch of various um, things that is super helpful. Uh, so we're on our own this time. <laughs> mm, understood. Hence why people also trying to looking for publi- publisher mm. as long, yeah, as far as they could. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Oh yeah, and they do PR and marketing, which I'm terrible at, but I'm learning. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. My last question, I guess, in this segment. Wow. Hmm. Any goals or plans in the future? And any dreams or wishes that is not realized yet? Aww. Right. Well, uh, making money. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh my God. <laughs> exactly. Wouldn't it be lovely? Yeah. We uh, we're really hoping that this takes off so that we can you know support ourselves and uh, properly and really keep doing this forever. I I want to do this forever. I love this so much. I can't imagine doing anything else. Um, goals and plans. Um, yeah. It would be great to have. Uh, elemental survivors on platforms if uh, if that works out um, and uh, dreams and wishes just it would be lovely if we could make enough money to hire some um, underrepresented underrepresented people in the industry um, to do various things for us like PR or QA or or um, any of the things that I'm terrible <laughs> just just it would be lovely to make enough money to be able to do that okay but I this is this is just from me from my side as a streamer and content creator I do uh, I could see that my channel is actually growing pretty good uh, in this past mm-hmm. few months since start since 2023 
and I do include it into some of newsletter from PR marketing. I don't know. Have you tried any of those? Not yet. Mm, no, I haven't done that yet. Um, I know it's on my list. But, uh, I try to work mostly on content, but yeah, I got to do that. They also included, uh, I don't know, some LGBTQ friendly, such mm-hmm. as the player to PR. That's also one of my the most usual people who send me newsletter, oh. and then they also. Uh, Uh, what is this offering? We have this key, this key, this key. Do you want to do? Oh, do, that's do, do? cool. And you'll have to send me a link. Oh, okay, sure. I will, I will, I will send the player to PR later. Awesome, thank you. Okay, yeah, that was the last question in this segment. Before entering the last segment, which is segment. Four, we are going to listen to one more song, Four Seasons by Taeyeon, as a break song, and then we are going to enter the last segment, segment four. Enjoy Taeyeon, Four Seasons. Welcome back to Weekly Midnight Radio episode 25. Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25. So yeah, we just listened to a song by Taeyeon, Four Seasons, as the break song before entering the segment 4. Kita baru saja mendengarkan satu lagu, yakni Four Seasons dari Taeyeon, selaku lagu break kita sebelum masuk ke segmen keempat. Sekarang kita akan masuk ke segmen keempat, yakni trivia dan closing mark nantinya dari geser kita pada malam hari ini. Now we are going to enter segment 4, which is the last segment, and the theme is trivia of guest star and closing mark from our guest star. So yeah, in this segment, uh, our guest star, B, will answer random question that she will redeem by herself through channel points. And yeah, there are no breathing questions before this, so everything is random and spontaneous. Are you ready, B? What do I do? <laughs> okay. So I redeem the trivia? Yes, correct. You just have to click the channel point and then you redeem the trivias. All right. Never done that. Let's see. Oh. oh. The first trivia question is if you could um if you could communicate with an animal, which animal would you choose to speak with? Is this a dog? Me, I would definitely want to speak with a cat. I love cats. <laughs> I love their attitude. Oh, cat, not a dog, like like your logo. I know, I know. Well, in Princess Farmer, um, there's a cat in the windowsill that you can pet, and um, uh, the cat's name is Sophie, and that's the cat that I used to have. Um, a long time ago, and so, anyways, I no, I'm a cat person more than a dog person. I do love dogs, but cat. Okay. Ah, uh, continuing, uh, continuing to the next trivia question. Uh, this is a redeem by a viewer. Is it okay? Do you want to answer mm-hmm. the question? Sure. What do you love the most? Yeah. This um, is the next trivia question. Uh, my family. Oh my family. Okay. Any yeah. reason why? Oh my uh I love my wife, I love my daughter. They're my world. There's a yeah, if if I only have them, that's all I need. So, yeah. Okay. Let's continue to trivia okay. number 3. Okay. Okay. Do I do a little dingy dim. Um What's the next name question? Name once <laughs> Name one silly thing you did within the past two weeks. Oh, do you do something okay. though? I do silly things all the time. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, I can't mm. think of anything in the last two weeks. Um, one, uh, I don't know. I'll just say a random silly thing then. Um, When I make um, like soup or stew, and there's carrots, I will cut them in some of them into heart shapes. There's little secrets to find. 
<laughs> Why? I, I don't know. Like my daughter says, to put love in it. <laughs> oh my god. I know. We're silly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't say yeah. hard. Is it yeah. like actually oh, soften oh. enough as this stew uh, boiling? No. Yeah, and it has a little heart shape in it, and then you find it when you're eating it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Such a silly Very. cute thing. I know. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. Somebody else. Have you ever eaten banana with the skin on it? No, I have yeah. not. Oh, that's pretty silly. You don't. You never yeah. had. No, no. Okay. Banana skin is. Uh, I think I, I bit into one once when I was trying to open the banana and it was being difficult, and it was awful. So I've never done it again. <laughs> <laughs> once and for all. Yeah, that was it. That was good enough for me. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't redeem another. Oh, yeah, yeah. A second, I pause it. Mm-hmm. Let's continue. Oh yeah, sure. Okay. There we go. The next trivia. Wow. What do you value the most in a friendship? What do I value most? Um patience, I think. Oh, And patience. Not yeah, many people have because to answer I that. can Because I, uh, because I'm neurodivergent, I have a lot of difficulty uh, maintaining communication with people. Even though I adore them, I just I shut down sometimes and can't communicate. So, the one of the things that I really need in a friendship is just patience to wait for me to come on back <laughs> and to you know uh, ping me sometimes and just say hey. How are you doing? So, yeah, patience and um, and being genuine. Like I, I, I really appreciate people who are very genuine with their communication and with their friendship. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. That's so deep. <laughs> But I agree. Uh, okay, a second. Let's continue to the fifth one. Okay. Mm. Oh, you don't oh, stream. I don't stream. <laughs> so, a second. After three, two, one, can you redeem it again? Okay. Yeah. What's the next review? Okay. Ah, B. Name two games that you really want to purchase so badly but haven't been able to yet. Do you have any? Um, two games. Yeah, I really want Baldur's Gate 3 and I really want um, Star Ocean Second Story, the um, the remake that just came out. So those are the two games that I really would like right now. My birthday is coming up, so... <laughs> have you watched anyone play BG3, Baldur's Gate 3? Is it good? I haven't. Um, because I really know I know that I want to play the game and I don't really want to have expectations or um, want to know little secrets I I really want to have that experience for myself so yeah okay and that's all basically uh, for the trivia I only said for five questions because we only have a limited time so I guess this is okay enough <laughs> for now <laughs> So yeah, uh, let's continue to the next question from me then. As the closing mm-hmm. mark, do you have any impression? What is your impression and do you have any suggestion regarding this program? Oh, this has been fantastic. You're wonderful. It's so well organized and such good questions. Um, it, it, you've been lovely to speak with and I reach out to me again when we've launched the game if you want to chat again. Ah, okay, I'll note it and thank you. Have any suggestion, B? Um, no, um, I don't think so. I think this has been absolutely lovely. And um, yeah, uh, I really don't. I've, this has been lovely. Yeah. 
Oke, okay. it's okay then. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> do you have any recommendation for the upcoming guest star? Like any game developer you would like to probably see in the same spot as you are? Ooh. Um, there is someone who is in our Discord and in the Bullet Heaven Fest who I've uh, spoken with a few times now. Um, she um, and her daughter actually have been working on a game called Feisty Fauna and it's so cute. Oh, it's really Allison. a very cute game. Yes, yes. I think that would be wonderful if you spoke with her. So, yeah. Okay. Alison actually reached me out through Discord and... There we go. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's just out of nowhere and she messaged me on Discord and asking, could you, do you have any interest to play our demo game? And then... Aww. And then apparently I have a few slots that I can actually arrange, so I include her game. And she's a solo developer, right? Uh, yes, it's, it's her and her daughter actually. So oh, so cool. Okay. Yeah. Wow! 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 Such a really interesting fate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, my last question: Do you have anything to self-promote? Our game. Yes. Play the Elemental, Survivor. Elemental Survivors. Yeah, go download the demo. Wish list. Wish list, wish list, wish list. And it's a cheap game. Just buy it too. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's only like, what is it? $4 on Steam right now for USD. So it's, uh, you know, when we go into uh, final launch, it might it might increase in price. We're not sure yet. Depends on the content we've got in there. Uh, but yeah, just buy the game. And while you're at it, go visit Princess Farmer as well and wishlist and buy that. It's on 45% off right now as well. Mm, nice, nice, nice. Elemental Survivor is 38k in Indonesia rupiah, which is probably like two meals. Mm-hmm. Cheap. Not that expensive. Yeah. For so many contents yeah. in it. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of content. We love updating it. We do it all the time. Provide feedback. Let us know what you want in the game. Um, we're very active in our Discord, and on, I do check the Steam discussions. Give us uh, some ideas. Yeah. Okay. That's all basically from me. And yeah, if you guys wanted to have a key to play this game for free, you can just join the giveaway. You just you could just uh, redeem the channel points one channel one channel points only, and you could join the giveaway later in the closing session. That's all. Thank you for the key too, B. No problem. Thank you. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you so much. We okay. my <laughs> first time ever. Yay! Thank you so much. We uh, prob- oh, I pro- no I'm probably worries. going to check your another interview session later on YouTube, right? Uh, the okay, cool. Okay. Uh, have a good day, I guess. You as well. I'm gonna finish my coffee. <laughs> okay. Uh, see you next time, I guess. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye, B. Thank you so Bye. much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So yeah, that was B from Some B Games, and that also marked the end of uh, the last segment, which is segment four. Yeah, barusan adalah B dari Some B Games, dan sudah selesai bincang-bincang atau casual discussionnya dengan B. Dan sekarang kita akan mendengarkan satu lagu lagi ya sebelum masuk ke closing session. Ada Hold On Tight. Dari Espa lalu ada 11-11 dari Theon Diingatkan kembali mungkin bagi para penonton atau para pendengar Kalau ingin ikutan giveaway Kodenya kita giveaway nanti habis ini ya Jadi developernya ngasih satu key gratis Barusan dari pas lagi bincang-bincang dikasih Jadi nanti aku Apa sih? Cari dulu ya Roulette yang bisa digunakan untuk Apa sih? Ya itulah ya, pengundiannya. Oke itu saja. Selamat mendengarkan lagu selanjutnya, Hold On Tight dari Espa dan 11.11 dari Theon. Selagi aku bersiap-siap untuk roulette ya.
Welcome back to Weekly Midnight Radio episode 25 Selamat datang kembali di Weekly Midnight Radio episode ke-25 Kita baru saja mendengarkan dua lagu Tadi ada Espa, Hold On Tight Lalu ada Eleven Eleven dari Taeyeon So we just listen to two songs Espa, Hold On Tight And then Eleven Eleven by Taeyeon This is now the closing session The closing segment of this episode Of Weekly Midnight Radio Ini adalah sesi closing dari Weekly Mina Radio episode kali ini. Bisa live sampai jam berapa? Sejujurnya tergantung trucks, tergantung bintang tamu. Kalau bintang tamunya lama dan bisa lama, tergantung rame atau tidak yang bertanya di chat room. Dan kalau rame atau panjang atau tidaknya pejawaban dari bintang tamu, tergantung. Paling lama kayaknya WMR ini sampai tiga jam 3 dari jam 9 paling cepat itu ya seju- kayak gini 2 jam 3 jam ini sudah habis kan soalnya minta tamunya coba bisa sebentar tadi <laughs> so ya yeah. karena ini sudah closing session jadi tadi seperti dijanjikan mau mau running wheel ya ada key gratis untuk elemental survivor dan ini baru pertama kalinya aku bikin giveaway beginian Running wheel Maaf ya Kurang persiapan kayaknya Kita Undi Sampai Nama terakhir ya Ada 4 nama Ada Code Joy Ada John Rizko Senatan Ada Bazelar Ada Trucks Time Kita undi sampai nama paling terakhir ya Sebentar ya Bazelar terpilih Kita hapus ya <laughs> Lanjutkan Selanjutnya siapa lagi Kode oh, Joy Terhapus juga Sisa dua Antara Joe underscore Nathan <coughs> Atau Trax Time Ya eliminasi sampai habis ya Wah, <laughs> mohon maaf ya. Ternyata pemenangnya ialah John Rizko Nathan, bukan Trucks Time. Mohon maaf ya. Mungkin lain kali dan mungkin kalau ada kesempatan lainnya, siapa tahu nanti di masa depan ada kesempatan dapat game yang lainnya. Nanti akan saya hubungi ya John Rizko Nathan setelah streaming. Nanti aku kasih kinya langsung ke Jo. So ya. Yeah. Uh, saya lanjutkan Karena ini closing session Jadi ini adalah saat yang tepat bagi saya Untuk menyampaikan terima kasih Terima kasih kepada para pendukung Baik secara langsung pun tidak langsung Ah enggak Belum ketemu laknya aja Kak, Kamu tuh kayaknya trucks Tidak harus selalu merasa pesimis <laughs> So ya yeah. I would like to say thank you for everyone, for every support, whether directly uh, by coming by to my chat room, interacting in the chat room directly, uh, redeeming points, asking question, requesting song. Thank you, thank you to for everyone who supporting the channel indirectly by just listening and yeah, doing something probably in the background. Thank you for the support indirectly. I hope there are no disturbances, and if There is. I hope it's not going to affect your listening session that much. Thank you. Hari ini ada truck time. Kemudian ada Angkero Kun. Ada Samu B Games. Bintang tamu kita tadi. Terus ada Kode Joy. Ada Bazelar. Lalu ada Kase Cruise. Ada siapa lagi ya? Ada Kuro PLYS. Ada Rayleigh Hart tadi, ada John Rusko Senatan. Itu saja kan? Ya. Ya, tidak banyak hari ini yang chat. Kemudian tidak banyak juga yang reading DKK. But yeah, thank you so much. Uh, my next stream, I don't know. <laughs> This is probably... 
my last stream for a while because uh, next week I'm going to basically not going to stream at all. I'm going to I decided to just move out. So yeah, this is going to be my last stream in this week. Probably going to continue streaming again at 20 November. Probably. So yeah, see you when I see you. If you guys wanted to rest and sleep after this one, have a good rest, have a good sleep. If you are going to continue with your activity, have a good day. Or yeah, enjoy your activity. That's all basically. Stay safe, stay healthy, and thank you for listening and watching the episode. After this one, we are going to listen to one more song, which is Goodbye Mice, Goodbye Trucks. Oh yeah, correct. After this one, we are going to listen to one more song, the closing song for this episode, which is Call Me Baby by EXO. And yeah, as usual, because this is a radio session, there will be no raid after this one. So yeah. Enjoy the last song, which is Call Me Baby by EXO. And second, goodbye. See ya. Bye.